It is the biggest scandal for the Houston Police Department since the deadly botched raid on Harding Street. HPD's failure to investigate and instead suspend over 4,000 sex assault cases is now over a month old, and only one Houston reporter has been relentless getting answers and holding the city accountable. KPRC2 investigator Mario Diaz here, who spoke with Houston's mayor today regarding the scandal's latest chapter. Mario? Danny Keith, and the focus now is on Mayor's John Whitmire's investigative panel coming together for the first time today to oversee HPD's investigation. This as HPD's internal affairs continues to investigate how adult sex crimes investigations were suspended. This is not about showbiz. It's not about politics. This is getting to a bottom of a very serious matter that Mario just articulated who's concerned. All of us are concerned. I inherited it, but I'm going to fix it and I'll be held accountable. Mayor John Whitmire showed off his solution to the HPD investigations scandal this morning following city council. His hand-picked panel officially meeting for the very first time. I have put the best panel that I could establish to review it so those families and victims and fathers and mothers will know what happened and if it's not too late, we're going to investigate your case. And to those fathers and mothers and family members and those victims who are still seeing some of the same people still in charge here, sir, and they're now still leading this department considering what we have seen. Memorial, obviously, <laughs> obviously everybody's going to be held accountable. The, the people you're talking about Two months ago, we're being praised. They have distinguished careers. Two months ago, we never knew about this man. I know we did, but we still got the person with the same DNA, same experience, and same commitment to public service. But that DNA looks much different now, sir. No, no, their DNA does not change. You, you know that as well as anyone. Well, this is what Houstonians now know. In 2021, Chief Troy Finner did not investigate as to why a code was being used to suspend sexual assault investigations, incident reports as HPD likes to call them. Finner has claimed he verbally ordered HPD brass to stop using it. A thorough investigation into the practice only got underway recently. Can't undo the past. We can certainly hold people accountable and then prevent it in the future. Part of holding people accountable means speaking with them. Whitmire's panel does have the ability to conduct their own interviews. It indicates conducts, conduct interviews as necessary. Sure. Does that mean Chief Finner can be interviewed by this panel? It says interviews as appropriate. And certainly I would, I would expect them to talk to Chief Finner. Mayor Whitmire tells me there is no timetable. He just wants it done, adding that the panel will keep him briefed throughout their review. Danny? Well, Mario, as a woman and as a mother of two girls, I really can't imagine what these parents are going through knowing that HPD failed them to investigate their case. You know, Danny, I asked the same question today of Mayor Whitmire. Like yourself, he has two daughters. I asked him, what would he tell those fathers and mothers impacted? He says to me, quote, I'm sorry, I'm shocked. It should have never happened, and they are going to do everything they can to hold people accountable. Danny, we, of course, will be staying on this story. We have more tomorrow on it.